What's up everyone? This is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you know, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, join the family. We are the most lit channel on YouTube, and that's a fact. Alright, um, so let's get into some recent sport news. The Panthers release running back Jonathan Stewart after 10 seasons. Really? Really? Uh, let me just read this article. The Carolina Panthers on Wednesday released all-time leading rusher Jonathan Stewart, clearing $3,718,750 from the salary cap. Um, with Monday's release of veteran defensive end Charles Johnson and safety Kurt Coleman, general manager Marty Herney has cleared just over $9.6 million in cap space in the past three days. The Panthers... Have now close to 30 million in cap space. Um, so let's go back to Stewart, who will turn 31 on March 21st, was coming off one of his worst seasons statistically behind an offensive line. Herney regarded as one of the top five in the league. Stewart averaged a career low 3.4 yards per carry, 680 yards on 198 carries, and his total yards were as few as since 2013 when he was limited by injuries. Um his yards per carry ranked 32nd among the 34 running backs who had at least 150 carries last season, ahead of only Adrian Peterson and Amir Abdullah. Sorry, there. Uh, according to ESPN stats and information, Stewart's 3.55 yards per touch last season were the fewest by a running back, with at least 200 touches in a season since Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis, and Richard Medenhall in 2013. Stewart ends his career at Carolina where Herney selected him in the first round of the 2008 draft with 7,318 yards. He surpassed D'Angelo Williams last season as the team's all-time leading rusher. Williams was released by former general manager Dave G Gettleman, Gentleman. No, Gettleman after the 2014 season. Um... Stewart recently said he still could be a productive back, but with new opportunities under coordinator Norv Turner trying to create more opportunities for first-rounder Christian McCaffrey and what Hurry called a deep draft class running back, the Panthers opted to move on. Um, uh, I don't want to read anymore, but, well, I mean... Uh, I guess he did kind of suck, to be honest. Uh, even though he was a decent running back, but, you know, it's all about money. It's all about that money, that cash. You need that cash. The Panthers need to get more wide receivers that are amazing for Cam Newton. They honestly should pick up Calvin Ridley if they can, which I doubt because Calvin Ridley will be taken by then. But uh, they should pick up someone. Um... Like, I'm disappointed with Christian McCaffrey, man. I would have cut that dude. That dude played, like, I mean, running-wise, he played, like, crap. He didn't get to do anything. I mean, he did good as a passing, getting stuff. But still, I expected more from Christian McCaffrey and all that hype he got and how he was close to winning the Heisman Trophy. But, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. So, as you know, the Panthers, going back to the topic, Panthers have released running back Jonathan Stewart. So that's the major news, and it's surprising. Um... Yeah, so that's all I have for now. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the family. Um, I don't know how many subscribers we have, but you can see them down there below. Go check us out and see all our videos. Um, like this video. Um, comment below. What do you think about McCaffrey or uh, Jonathan Stewart being released? It sucks for him. I don't know about the Panthers. We'll see next season if they miss him or not. Um, like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe and join this amazing family. Um, and I'll get back to you with another video soon. So, peace out.